Hey guys, it is me coming back with another vlog. I am taking the time to use this video to start another weekend vlog of fun reading and shenanigans. For this vlog, or this weekend, Teresa from Just Bigish Thing is coming up to hang out with me for the weekend because uh, she can't come see me during my birthday because it's on a Wednesday, so we decided to do something fun this weekend. I think we're gonna go up to DC and see some museums and just like chill and read and watch Harry Potter and stuff like that. So I decided I wanted to vlog it because I felt like this would be a cool vlog to do. So yeah, so uh, it is currently like almost two or two I think Teresa is probably gonna leave soon and drive up and she'll get here around five and I am just chilling editing um, some videos and I'm probably gonna read a little bit too so I'm excited to keep you guys updated on this vlog <laughs> you guys to go see her as she pulls into my driveway okay
it's me. Um, I am officially ending this birthday vlog. Um, also, Teresa just left like maybe 20 minutes ago, so I figured it was time for me to just like, I guess, do like a recap and talk about my feelings and then end this vlog. <laughs> um, I'm going to post this on the second the day before my birthday because i figured this would be a fun video to post on a tuesday and then i'm posting a video on my birthday and then i'm posting another video on thursday so that'll be interesting um i'm also going to be going to florida at the end of this this coming week um and so i I just realized that I should probably pre-film some things and edit some things so I can have stuff for you guys next for next week when I'm not really uh, here. But yeah, just to recap, like Teresa came up for the weekend to spend time with me for my birthday, partially because uh, my birthday's on Wednesday this year, and so nobody, I figured nobody would be able to come up and hang out with me just because of work and life and it's a Wednesday so um, she was one of the few friends that like was able to come up and hang out with me this weekend and I really truly appreciate her for doing that because I was feeling slightly I don't want to say unloved but it just felt like slightly like nobody cared so her saying like oh I want to come up this weekend and I want to hang out with you and blah 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 really like made me feel loved and really helped me like get over that like sad feeling I had but we went to like Teresa came up Friday and then Saturday we went into DC and we hung out we went to the Natural History Museum and the Air and Space Museum as you can see from the clips from earlier Teresa wanted to go to the Natural History Museum and I wanted to go to the Air and Space Museum so it was a good compromise um, and then we ended up going to the Pentagon Mall because we were meeting with my mom to get lunch and then we ended up just coming back home and chilling out today we sunday we ended up getting up and we went to a we found this cute little like um uh this cute little bargain bookstore um in downtown fredericksburg and it was actually really cute um their ria selection wasn't like the best they kind of mixed it in with their like middle grade slash children section so it just wasn't the greatest thing but the it was such a cute shop in general and they had like really cute like areas where you could sit and just chill out for like a couple of hours or like do homework or something like that so i loved that vibe that it was giving me despite the fact that their YA section was not the greatest and i'm really sad also another cool thing happened today i reached 500 subscribers on my channel I woke up and I realized, well, yesterday, Saturday, I looked at Teresa and I was like, Teresa, I have, uh, I have 480 something subscribers. Like, that's so crazy. And I was like, it'd be cool to reach 500, like any time this year, like that would just be an awesome goal to have, I guess. And then this morning I woke up and I had 500 or I had 495 subscribers and I was like, oh my gosh, I need to find more people to want to watch my content. And then I'll have 500 and like, of course, it's not numbers. It's not about numbers. So I was just like, it is what it is. But I'm so grateful that like so many people want to watch me make videos and want to like be my friend and sorry i'm getting uh kind of emotional <laughs> um so yeah and then i looked again and it was at 497 <laughs> oh gosh guys it's cancer season it's killing me i then like posted about it because I was so happy and so many people retweeted and I reached 500 and I don't even know why I'm crying right now <laughs> and oh my gosh I love you guys so much <laughs> thank you for being so 
so awesome and being so kind to me. Oh gosh, why am I crying? This has been a weird, weird year for me. <laughs> and I've definitely been struggling with the feeling of just being feeling really out of place in my life just because of where I'm at and just like the pa the things that I'm trying to figure out on what I want my life to look like and what I want to do next and so the fact that I found a space on the internet <laughs> which is ironic that like welcomes me and makes me feel included and makes me feel a part like I'm a part of something is so cool <laughs> and oh gosh I'm so sorry I'm such a mess um I'm just so grateful for every one of you that subscribed or for any every one of you that I have been able to like befriend and can now like text or dm for anything or just for like a good solid conversation about books and for anyone who I don't know just like <laughs> has been so nice to me even if we're not friends as long as you've been nice to me I'm like so grateful <laughs> oh I'm so sorry I was not expecting to cry I literally it just came out of nowhere but thank you guys so much um so yeah that was my birthday weekend <laughs> I say this is probably the best weekend I've had in a really long time um, in regards to like my birthday and yeah this is the year of 23 let's hope it's as weird and fun and crazy as ever <laughs> and I know there's that joke that when you're 23 nobody likes you so I think I'm kind of prepared for that, <laughs> especially after this whole crying thing that happened that literally came out of nowhere. I have no idea. But yeah, that's all I want to say. I don't want to make this clip super long, but thank you guys so much for just being so amazing. I love you guys. I hope that this summer is going so well for you and that you're getting all the reading you want done. And... If you ever need to talk to me about anything or ever want to reach out, my DMs are always open. Or you can talk to me on Twitter or whatever. I just recently started a bookstagram. I don't know how that's going to work, but I'll leave a link down below to that too. And you can watch me struggle to do that. Um, but thank you guys so much for everything. And you guys are all sunflowers and a world full of weeds.